So wording off compassion fatigue is really important for the veterinary healthcare team. And the good news is there are some pretty effective strategies for us to do just that. It's particularly challenging when we're dealing with end of life care for patients or patients that either are leading up to euthanasia or have experienced euthanasia after a course of very intense care with the client and with the veterinary healthcare team. So what can we do? Well, probably the most important thing that we can do as veterinary healthcare team members to ward off compassion fatigue is just recognize that it can happen to us. And what that really means is being aware. And being aware means we can make very specific plans to prevent ourselves from getting into trouble. One of the most effective things we can do as a team is debrief when we have a particularly challenging case. Talk about it as a team. Have a special friend either on the team or outside of the team, a member of the family, with whom you can talk about the difficult cases. Take time for yourself. Make sure that you're really engaging self-care. That means eating right, eating well, getting exercise, making sure you get good sleep. You may want to think about journaling. Some people are more private than others, and they maybe they don't want to talk to other people about the issues surrounding a particularly challenging case, but sometimes just telling your journal really can help. And then finally, just remembering that your team members care about you, your clients care about you, and most of the time we can rely on our friends, our family, and the extended family of the veterinary health care team to help us help ourselves stay healthy and prevent compassion fatigue.